Hi guys, it's me. So I'm going to make a mixed media canvas and I'm going to try to do as much of it as I can in real time. I will do some collaging so that part I will probably fast forward through. It's just gluing down paper. Um, but this is a 10 by 10 canvas and I ordered these folk art stencils and they have phrases on them. So live simply. I am very creative. It has all types of different words on it. I will link it below if you're interested. They're paper stencils, um, but I thought this would be a really fun way um, to use them. So I am going to use them. So I'm going to create a background first, a mixed media background, of course, and I'm going to open this up. And these I got from, where did I get it? From Aaron's Brothers. Um, and they have really good prices like on their canvases. Um, very, very good actually. <laughs> so they usually always have them on sale for like $12.99 for the value pack or something like that. So um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to use. And then this is just um, my church. Um, they get rid of their old um, missiles. Um, so this is one that um, they were going to throw away. So I grabbed it. And I'm going to use that as the part that I collage. And I have my Mod Podge. That's what I'm going to use. Vaseline tip. See how easy that came off? And so I will, let's glue down a few together. And then I will let you go and let you watch the pro, and then I'll just come back. And then we can get to kind of the paint, adding a little bit of paint, maybe some more stenciling. And then finally, adding um, our phrase to the canvas. So let me grab a brush here. Here's my glue brush. I can use this one. Perfect. So I just have a nice wide brush. I'm so bad. I chew the handles of my brushes. That's so terrible. I'm just like a chewer. I'm just a nervous person. Crazy. I need to stop doing that. I told myself, stop chewing things, Shimmy. So I choose my nails all the time. It's terrible. Me and my mom take turns treating each other to manicures and pedicures. So the girls are very nice, but they're like, Shimmy, I see that you've been chewing your nails again. <laughs> it's just true. But if you're in, ever in Colorado, they're a great place to go. They treat you so, so well. Um, it's called Snow White, and it's really pretty. It does kind of look like a castle. And the owner is super duper nice. They're a very nice group of girls. And they treat you very, very well, and they do a great job. They are total perfectionists. Like, we always are in there for hours. <laughs> Which, you know, doesn't happen a lot anymore, you know, so they treat you very, very well. Alright, I can do that. Alright, and I don't really care if this is wrinkled. I think that it'll add beautiful texture, and this paper is super duper dim, um, so it's not going to stick down properly, and that's okay. And these are actually oil brushes. I get them at Michael's, but they work really, really well for mediums like Mod Podge and that kind of thing. So I'm hoping that I will get this video out to you guys today. Hopefully I will. I got some business stuff that I had to get done first, so I'm making this at like <laughs> 3 o'clock mountain time, so... You guys won't get it until probably later after I get time to edit it. And I might have to just do something simple and then save this for Thursday. But hopefully you'll get to see it. Perfect. So I'm just going to fill the entire canvas. And you know, like when you're collaging things down, right? I should have told you this. You put a layer of the Mod Podge or the gel medium on the bottom. Nice, even layer. Right? right and then you put the piece of paper on top of it I know some people brush the paper and then put it on top but that just creates a mess I find and um, I don't want glue like all over I mean my hands are gonna get gluey but 
And I don't think it's a necessary step, really, if you apply enough glue and if you add enough pressure, um, you can get you know, it to stick nicely without having to do that. This is going to wrinkle just because it's kind of the nature of this type of paper. Um, it's very, very thin and transparent. Um, so it's going to wrinkle and that's okay. I love texture and I don't mind it, but, um, and there's actually nothing that I could do with this kind of paper. At least it's like with tissue paper, you're going to get wrinkling. It's not going to go down very smooth. And that's kind of with the, with the texture of this is so kind of the way it is, <laughs> but I don't mind it. Alrighty. Actually, maybe I'll just do the rest of this on camera. It's not taking me very long. I love collaging. It's like my favorite. I always tell my students, like, this is like my favorite part <laughs> is collaging. And I really like um, using this book because um, it is a missile. So it's full of scriptures and like psalms and that kind of thing and hymns. So I really love it. I love that that's going to be kind of showing through of this project. So I think it's fun. And it's nice to use like interesting papers, like uh, a lot of my students, they will bring or they'll get inspired, you know, and they'll come to my class and then they'll come to another one and they're like, oh, I bought a vintage dictionary, you know, and I'm using words that mean something to me. And I think that that's so good. I think that it's great to infuse these base levels with um, things that make you happy, positive things, that kind of thing. And it's great because they peek through a little bit and you can read them. And it's kind of your secret that you know what's underneath your canvas. You know, what kind of things that it's filled with. So, I love it. I can do that. I haven't had lunch either, so I totally need to go eat. So, <laughs> I did have like some Cheetos. I have a few snacks up in my studio, so sometimes I eat those when I need to go eat lunch. Bad girl. So, And I am going to turn it different ways. I don't really mind. I think that it'll be interesting. And like I said, there's like this is sticking up and that's okay. Like you can go over it if you want and press it down a little bit, see if that will help, but it's okay. And you want to make sure that you brush it right away because you're going to be putting down more layers on top and on top and you keep building and building and building. So it to be sturdy. There we go. And you don't have to cover the whole thing. I'm just going to cover the whole thing because I like to collage. <laughs> visual texture and actual texture um, in my work. And after this is dry, I'm just going to brush it with um, gesso probably. Um, yeah. And then we will add some paint and I'm not going to cover the whole thing with gesso. Um, I'll show you actually. I'll show you what I'm going to do. kind of switch this around a little bit. Oops, that is way too much glue. That's shimmy. <laughs> oh, way, way too much. I went glue crazy there for a second. These pieces I'm just going to stick right Just like that. Perfect. And yep, see, nothing's coming up on the edges. So I'm good on that front. Like I can't peel that up. Actually, yes, I can. On that side, but I can't. Oops, I can't over here too. So I'm just making sure that the edges are attached very, very well because I don't want those rolling up on me. 
So I was reading um, this book because I like to read art books sometimes. And one of the ladies said that you shouldn't use like Mod Podge or anything like that because after a while the paper will like roll up on you. And I thought I've had paintings that I painted with like collage and they've never like the paper has never rolled up off the canvas has that happened to you guys and I was thinking like a lot of these glues are used for like decoupage and for furniture so I mean I've decoupaged furniture with both fabric and paper and I've never had a problem with that so I just thought well that is kind of a strange thing to say I don't know I don't think she probably used enough of the medium but I was surprised by that. I was like, what? <laughs> I've never heard of that, you know? Like, I've never had that problem. That's crazy. But And you just have to use enough. It's better to use too much and have to wait, let it dry for a while. I mean, it's not going to kill it if you add a huge amount of glue, you know? Um, you don't want to add a huge, huge amount because then you get, like, a really like funny looking like coating of it on your canvas but you know it's like I was just really surprised by that <laughs> so I don't know maybe you guys have had that experience I'd love to hear if you have had it I'm just kind of cleaning off the edges of my over here oops alrighty well that's great <laughs> so we have that oops that I spilled stuff all over here okay guys I'm gonna let this try and I'll be Okay guys, so now we're going to add some folk art gesso. And I just want to push this back a little bit. So I really like this because you can totally just spray it out of the container. Or you can squirt it out, spray it out of the container. You can squirt it out of the container. And I just want to add a little bit of this into places in my canvas. Okay, because right now I'm just creating kind of a mixed media background here. So I want parts of it showing, like I'm not doing a nice even coat, not even a little bit. Okay, I'm just randomly, and I love to finger paint. <laughs> so you can absolutely do this with a brush. I'm just a total finger painter. I love to paint with my fingers. See, I did not add enough glue there, so it's coming up a little bit, but that's okay because I'm just going to tear it off. And this is just for me, so I am not, I am using Mod Podge and that kind of thing. Um, if this was, you know, something that I was making to sell, of course I would use artist grade products, um, but for me, that I'm just hanging up in my studio, I don't mind, and I haven't had a problem, so just using whatever I have. You could even use gesso that you made. I have lots of videos, well, like two or three, with gesso that I made, so that's good there. I really love how that looks, and we're going to go in. I have some of these Martha Stewart paints that are made by Plaid also. Um, I also have this green. This is a kiwi green, but there's hardly any of it left. But I was going to kind of do like a pastel kind of colors. So let's maybe start out with this. One well, it probably needs to be open. Nope, it's good. I think this is Surf. It's a satin kind of finish, which I really love. I think that's really pretty. Actually, I think it is. I don't think I've used this one before. So we're just going to go in and... Pop that out. Perfect. Let's maybe do that with all of them. Let's make my life just a little bit easier, huh? Do that. Like so. These paints are really beautiful. They have a really beautiful finish. And I will link them below. They're really nice. And this one has kind of a pearl color, so I thought that would be pretty maybe to do with some stenciling. And this is another pearl one. It's kind of darker. They're kind of like Easter colors, huh? <laughs> oh, that's all right. I like Easter. All right. And then I have this one, which I think is also pretty. 
This is called Flame, and it's like an orangish red color. Okay. Ooh, so I like that one. So this one, I the lid like rolled under my desk, so we're gonna just use it like that. I don't recommend that you do, but but they're really pretty paints. They have some very beautiful transparency, and they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna randomly add those. I really love just scraping paint with my fingers, as I said before. And it's great because you pick up the texture from when we collaged. Awesome. Very good. And let's add a little bit of this blue. And I'll add and grab. And my baby wipes here. To wipe my fingers because I don't want to get them in that blue color. And then I'm going to wipe this back just a little bit here. I let it dry a little bit, but I want to wipe it back. I don't want it to be the main focus of my canvas. I kind of want it to be a little bit more in the background. Okay, and we're going to do this color, which I think is really pretty. Add a little bit up here. And the only thing I'm thinking about is that I probably want each color in about three places. That's it. So I can connect those together and then I can do a little bit over here. That's it. That's all I'm thinking about. And I'm just adding layers so this is not the way that it's going to look, I promise. Right? You can't be afraid. to try things out, to try new things. And so I'm gonna put a little bit of this yellow over here. Probably wipe that back a little bit because I lost all my text, which I love text. Very good. Okay, that looks awesome. Take our baby wipe here. I'm going to try to find a good, a clean place, and we're going to go in and just kind of wipe that back a little bit. We'll wipe this back a little bit. Wipe that back a little bit. Wipe this back a little bit. Just like that. I love that. Okay, very cool. So that looks really cool. And then I'm going to go in. Actually, I think I'll do some stenciling first. So, I grab a makeup sponge here. Let's stencil some of this pink. And then I have this deeper kind of yellow color. So, let's do some something of that too. I really love that. I think that'll be a really pretty contrast. And I have some of these plaid stencils, and they come in a variety pack. I really love them because they have really beautiful patterns, and they're like $3, which is awesome. So that's what we're going to use here. So see, they come with lots of patterns, and they're super duper cheap, <laughs> which is awesome. But especially when you're starting out with mixed media, you know, you may not have a ton of money to buy, you know, the latest things. And these are just wonderful because you have some really pretty patterns um, that you can use in a lot of projects. So we can take a couple of these maybe. I really kind of like that. But I think I'm going to do something else with that one. Let's use this one. Add and notice that I did not cover the entire canvas with um, color. And that was for a reason because I want to create interest. So, righty, here. And I'm going to use my stencil in three spots. Three is the magic number. 
or odd numbers, not a magic number, I should say. You can stick one right down here. Smaller, maybe. It's pretty. Okay, and then let's go in with one of those pearl colors. Ooh, look at that pretty pink. Oh my goodness, it's Martha. You are amazing. That is so pretty. I am totally going in with this yellow too. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, that is such a gorgeous color. This is going to be a little orangey because I did mix a little bit of the yellow in it, but that's okay. Oh, this is beautiful. What a pretty color. Oh my gosh. Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, there, there. Let's do one right here. I love that. Very nice. Okay. Let's add one more just for good measure. Probably don't want to use for that one. This one's pretty, this rose color. Oh, yeah. Because I think maybe we need to add a darker value, actually. So, see, everything's kind of pastel and pretty, but we need to add a little bit of depth. So, I am going to add a little bit of this wine color in a few spots, maybe like there. And there. Maybe like right in there too. And make sure your stencils go off the edge. Just like that. Perfect. I love that. I think it's so pretty. Now I am going to do some wings. That might frighten you. I have this, which is a brayer. Yeah, it says two in one, smoothing. Yeah, smoothing something. Smoothing, I think it's just a brayer, but well, we can see. Let's do it. Sorry, new packaging. <laughs> this is crafting as it's meant to be. Okay. I want to see if I can use this. So we're going to see here. I'm going to do some experimenting, right? can't be afraid you have to experiment a little bit and this is just our first layer of color we're going to add more we're going to get rid of some so I'm going to take this I have some white gesso I just want to see That's a white. Okay, quite randomly and I'm really taking from that pile right because I want to have some of this be seen, some of it not. This is not a soft brayer, it's a hard one. But it does work. Actually not that bad. Some more maybe down here. So you can absolutely use white paint. That would work too. And it's kind of catching those folds in my paper, which I love. And I'm not pressing too hard. I know it probably looks like it, but I'm really not. a little wet. Mm 
my bag is pretty, I love it. Okay, so I am going to let this dry and I will be right back. Okay, so we're somewhat dry, so let's add a little bit of stamping. So I have this tech stamp that I use all the time. It's from Kaiser Craft, but it melted. So I had to like cut off the part that was a little bit monkey. So I'm just going to add just some random stamping. Just like that. And a little bit here too. Very random. Okay, just like that. Alrighty. Okay, and then I want to use this stamp, which it was sent to me in Happy Mail. I actually think maybe I'm actually going to use an acrylic black, which I never do. And I'm using permanent archival ink here. Oops, oh my gosh. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that doesn't work very well. Let's just kind of ink this baby up. And this, this ink is on its last leg, so I have to put my finger, my palm under there a little bit. And I don't mind if it's not perfectly stamped, but I do want a lot of the image. And again, I'm going to have it go off the side a little bit in places. Maybe we'll do one here. So that's four, so we at least need one more. Maybe there. I love that. I really want one there. Let's do one there. And let's do a final one, like here. Perfect. And that one, yeah, that'll work. But I think that's really pretty and interesting. So we'll leave it there. And we're adding texture, right? Because the stamping is really beautiful and it adds another layer of stamping and contrast, right? Because I don't have any black going on here yet, so <laughs> which I haven't decided yet if I'm going to add. And I'm going to wipe this sprayer off too. And I can even go in and add, like knock those back a little bit, the stamping that I did a little bit with some of my gesso. And you see that it kind of bled through. Some of the paints bled through. And that's because they weren't totally dry when I did the sprayering, but I think that's really pretty. So I'm just going to wipe this off. Normally I do not wipe off, but these are great because they do fasten, which is awesome. And I love sprayers because you don't really have any control about where it's going, how it's going to look. Um, so it's fun. If you don't have one, I'd say get one. And these aren't very expensive. These are from Plaid. Just like that. Okay. And you can use them for all sorts of stuff. So, like that. Okay. And then let's do a little bit more stenciling. Let's kind of bring back a little bit. I'm going to use this one. And I want to use some Martha Stewart Metallic, too. Oops, I don't think that's open yet. No, I don't think that it is, but we can just, let's just push it out like that. Okay, and let's grab another make a sponge. And I'm going to use this stencil. Which is really cool. There's one there. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I love it. And we have one here. And I'm just playing with layers here. That's it. We're just kind of playing and exploring layers. Okay. So I think I want to put one maybe here. Oops. I have them all going up, so maybe we'll let this one go down. And I don't want them perfectly stenciled, right? I want them not so perfect. Right? Turn this up this way. And make this come a little bit there. I can even have it go. Oops, I am totally getting into my paint here. I'm going to make it go this way. 
who I am a little bit in love with that. Ooh, that's pretty. What a beautiful background, right? I love it. And I actually love that. I think that it's perfect. So yeah, let's move on to our next step, which is let's pick one of our stencils here. And I don't know what color I'm going to use yet. It might be great to do like a black to make it really pop. Maybe I can do an ombre. Do what you love. That's a good one. Bless this house. Do your best. Never give up. That's a good one. And the reason why I'm using a 10 by 10 canvas is because it is the perfect size for these stencils. So I love it. Wash, fold, repeat. Probably not that one. Right now I'm feeling the... Do what you love. I think that's a really good one. And do your best and never give up. That was cool. Me and you. I am creative. That's a good one. And you could even use, save these and use them as masks. Dream don't work unless you do. Dreams don't work unless you do. <laughs> okay. House rules. Let's see. Be happy. That's a good one. Right? You'll never regret being kind. Isn't that the truth? And I love it because it has like, it's totally on trend, you guys. Always kiss goodnight. Always kiss me goodnight. Kind of like that one. Hope is the anchor of the soul. Let's go on an adventure. I love you to the moon and back. That one's pretty. Believe there is good in the world. Sometimes it's hard to believe that, but we do need to believe that. Life is so much better with cake. That is very true. <laughs> Be your own kind of beautiful. That one's very cool. Very popular. But look at all these that you get. I mean, this is such a great deal. Live simply. That's a good one. Find joy. Believe you can. Be brave. That's a good one. Trust and believe. Hello, sunshine. That one's kind of cool. Hello, well, I think that maybe I'm going to do I think I'm going to do the do what you love. Yeah, let's do that one, right? So we're going to use our gesso again, and I've never tried this, but we are going to give it a try. So I'm going to squeeze out some gesso, right? And I'm going to grab a palette knife. Hopefully I have one up here. I think that I do. There we go. This will work. All right, and I think that I do I want to do this in gold. I should probably do it in black. Yeah, you probably should, darling. Yeah, I'm going to grab some black paint. We will do the black here. Oops. Let's be stuck. There we go. And it, the only reason you could totally just stencil this in black, and that would be great. Um, the only reason why I'm adding the gesso is because I really want this to be textured. It is going to change it a little bit, so it'll kind of be like a grayish black. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm saying that, but I don't kind of like this color, actually. I think it's really ugly. So, <laughs> let's try this again. Let's try. I'm sorry, guys. I think that's just really ugly, don't you? Not pretty. Okay. Maybe what we'll do is we will use some Marcus Stewart's this pretty pink. Let's use that. That is such a beautiful color. Yeah, let's use that. And the words will be gorgeous in that. And I'll use this for something else. I will totally put it on a canvas. I have an abstract painting that I'm working on, so that'll work perfectly. Let's do that. And it doesn't have to be fully combined. Actually, it's kind of nice if it's not. So you're going to take this and you want to make sure that it's right side up. So this is the way that it's going to show up, right? 
And let's maybe start up here with the do, right? And I'm probably going to do the letters one at a time, right? But you just need to make sure that you press it down nicely. And you're going to go right over it with your palette knife. You don't want to use too much of your pigment. Otherwise, it will steep down. But you do want to make sure that it's nice and covered. Alrighty. Okay, guys, fingers crossed that that worked out well. <laughs> okay, and then we'll go here. I'm going to have to make some more of this, too. I should have made a nice big pile. But I am a cheapy with my art supplies. I try my best not to waste them because they're expensive. So I try to recycle paint and to only put down what I need. There we go. Because you can always add more. Alrighty. So, okay, oops. And I don't know, I've never mixed gesso and tried to stencil it with paint. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know, I might have to be erasing all of this and thinking of something else, but we're gonna do it together. We'll figure it out, right? Whatever happens, we are in this art journey together, guys. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna commit, I'm just gonna do the whole thing. If not, I have baby wipes standing by. So, <laughs> oh, but hopefully I won't need them. I mean, it's okay if, I'll, if it gets a little bit off. I can probably figure out a way to, to fix it, but we shall see. Okay, but you can sizzle with gesso. So we'll just take it and press down. Alrighty. Please come on now. Don't take a step. Oops. I'm sure that I probably messed up the U. <laughs> and you do need to load your brush up enough so you have enough of the stuff on there. I'm not doing this very well, but we'll see. Hopefully it will turn out fabulous in spite of me. <laughs> okay, oops. Let's go here. Just pressing it down here. I think this is just such a perfect saying, right? Because I have this friend and she works really, really hard, but she doesn't have a college education. So her job doesn't pay her very well. And um, she is leaving the job and they just posted her, um, her job and they're paying, you know, significantly more than what they were paying her. And I told her, I said, it's okay, right? Because you totally did what you loved and that can never be wasted, you know? So sometimes we don't get paid what we're worth, right? So let's just lift. Oh my gosh, it looks awesome. I love this. So it says, do what you love. Wow. Oops. A little bit of paper's coming up, but that's okay. I think that's just because I steeped a little bit, but these are actually really easy to use. I'm really surprised. And I do have a little bit of shadowing here, so maybe I can grab, I wish that I had like something tiny <laughs> that I could just like wipe that off, but of course I don't have anything around me. So I think maybe I should give this to her. <laughs> maybe that will make her feel a little better, but I know it's hard when you when you work so hard, when you're so passionate about your job and you're not appreciated. But if you do what you love, and she has helped so many people with her job, so those people appreciate and love her and know her worth. So that's the important part. But I love that. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to let this dry. I am going to go around and paint the edges. If I can resist, right, I will paint the edges. And then I'm going to show you um, how we are going to finish this. But first, I'm just going to go around with gold paint and paint the edges. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, guys, we're losing daylight, so I'm going to try and see if I can finish this up. The gesso is not completely dry, and I did just paint the edges of the canvas. I am going to varnish this, and I will link the varnish that I used before. I love a set and finish kind of varnish. And um, folk art or plaid makes a really cool one, so... I will definitely use that and I'm trying to decide if I want to outline this with black or gold so I can't really decide here I can't decide I don't know guys and then I'm thinking well I could probably use because I have these like metallic ones and they're just really metallic permanent markers that might be cool to use I do have the gold. I think that I might use the gold. I like gold though. I'm a gold girl. Alright, let's see here. Okay, let's see if we can get this one going. I don't know if this is the one that doesn't work for very long. Alrighty, let's see. And I don't think that I want to outline the whole thing. I think maybe I'll just do a few little parts just so you kind of know what the letter is maybe. Okay, like that, something like that. We'll see how this goes. I don't know guys. Very good. Just like that, and then we can go through here. And it's not all the way dry, the just so. So I'm gonna try not to totally make a complete mess here. No promises though, because yeah, we kind of do that sometimes. <laughs> but I'm just being kind of intuitive here. Someone tag me in a photo. That's kind of weird. Like, okay, so I just looked. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Do you guys ever get like these weird people that try to flirt with you online? It's like, dude, I don't even know who you are. And I don't know how you being weird is like a good thing, but okay. <laughs> it's kind of weird. He's not even my friend. I don't know that you could tag someone that isn't even your friend. But whatever, he's going to get blocked. Very good. But I love this. Isn't this pretty? Let's maybe do like one in here. And I have no idea about shadowing or anything like that. I am just going, just doing what I want, basically. I mean, that's really what I'm doing. <laughs> I kind of will know what I want them to look like, and that's what I'm doing. So, you probably don't want to take any lessons in shadowing from me, but it's fun. It's great. You have to try things. You can't be so scared and not know that you don't try things. I promise you, we are in the same position as you. We try new things, they fail, they don't work, so just try it. Just give it a try. Maybe go there. That is so weird. Oh, that's pretty. Actually, I love that. Okay, I think I'm going to do the other side of the W, too. Oops. I kind of went a little crazy there. I made a pile. It's okay. Probably take 
a brush, maybe, and remove some of it. I don't know. We'll see if we can. Let's see if we can. I think I probably can, but we'll see. I don't want to add too much water. There we go. For my lovely patrons, I did record a video for you guys, too. And I will send it to you tomorrow. I hate this. It's going to, like, totally drive me crazy. Oh, wow. I don't know what just happened there, but... Come on now. Okay, we'll just kind of... I don't know. I don't know what to do about that one, but we'll go here, maybe. Just like that. Alrighty, I'm going to spin this around so I can see a little better. Maybe that will help. But I like it. I think it's still really nice. So I think I don't think that it's an epic fill or anything. I love it. I love all my art, no matter how it turns out. And it's mostly me. It's because I have, you know, because you want it to look a certain way. But, I mean, no. It's like you have to just go along with the process. So, really, it's never the art's fault, right? And we get mad at it and we want to throw it away. It's really that we wanted it to be something that it did not want to be. And maybe it was just for us to learn a technique or something like that. So, yeah. Okay. Um, I actually like that. I think that's really cool. I, the W, I've got to do something with, though. So I'm going to just take this brush, maybe, and see if I can add a little bit of pink there, just to kind of clean that up a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, and I think that fixed it. But I love it. It's so pretty and it's great. And literally, I just went around the edges with um, the gold paint, the Martha Stewart one. And I just, I do want to do a little bit more framing even. And I just use my fingers. I am totally a finger fingers guy. <laughs> Sorry. And um, like right in here, I'm just going to frame it out. So I do the sides already, but I want to frame it a little bit more. Just like that. And if you wanted to you get marks to this, which I am so tempted to do, but I'm going to have to deny myself. Because <laughs> I like to kind of, I mean, there's things that I love doing, like making marks. Like I would totally go around and circle these with black pen, which actually I am talking myself into doing. But sometimes I like to just kind of see, um, if I can not do the things that I want to do all the time and just try to do something different. So I love this. It's really pretty and it's wonderful. And it says something that is very, very important. So I love it. Isn't that cool? So it says, do what you love and you can see it very clearly. I'm going to varnish this um, and that will be the end. I could add a little bit of... I think maybe I should have added some black to the lettering. Maybe I'll add a little bit. Because I think that they blend in a little bit too much with the background. Okay, so let's maybe just just vary just in a few places. Just add a few little lines where some of the gold is. And again, I do not know anything about shadowing my letters or anything like that, but I'm just going to go with it. That doesn't look bad to me, so I think we're in a good direction. I do need a different pin, though. This 
and totally went dead on me. I'm doing this live, so I'm sorry. Like, Shanice, why don't you have everything out? But I kind of did not know where this was going. And I'm kind of happy that I don't every time know where things are going. So I think it helps you guys. I know it helps me. Like, I don't really like... I like videos that aren't fast-worded sometimes. I think it's really interesting to watch, to hear the artist process. I might have to just... None of these are working. Do I not have any of these black pens? What's going on right now? I've been buying them for my students, but I don't think I bought any for myself. Come on. Just a little bit. I just need you a little. Just to clean this line up a bit. I have to use some black paint. <laughs> just have to see here. I just want to add it to a few spots. Just to create like some shadows. So you actually know what some of these letters are. Oops, did way too much. Oops, there. There we go. Actually, I'm tempted to just use black paint. Yeah. I think actually that's what I will do. Oops. Okay, so I have some black paint here. Just gonna go ahead and squeeze that out. And I'm gonna go in with this since it's running out anyway. I'm gonna go in and just add a little bit of black here. And I paint very like intuitively, so it's not done until like I feel that it's done. So I never know where anything that I'm doing is going, to be honest. And I kind of like it that way. It makes it interesting. So you could do this with a paintbrush too. But it's so much neater with the pen. It's not working out the way that I wanted. Maybe if I press it really good, I can get some ink out. There we go. Right. To go in and add just a little bit of gold. Just a little bit of black here. And some right there. Perfect. Oh, I love it. I think it's really pretty. And we'll just add some gold in. No biggie. There's nothing that you can ever do that cannot be fixed. <laughs> you know? I tell myself that all the time, and it's because it's true. It's like, yeah, you just need to sit on it for a second, and you'll think of a way to fix it. So don't be so upset with yourself. And let it dry, preferably. preferably. Yeah, and come back, and very good. Oh, I love that actually. Can you see kind of the shadow? That's pretty, isn't it? Do what you love. And I love that shadow. I'm glad that I decided to add it, even though it was pain in my butt. <laughs> it was a lot in more intense than I thought that it should have been, but that's okay. Okay, guys, so that is it. That's all we're going to do with this beautiful canvas. That I'm probably going to do, give to my friend. I'm going to varnish it with a satin varnish, as I said before, which will be perfect. And I will link all the products that I use below. Um, I really love those stencils, and I can't wait to make more of these kind of canvases um, with them. So it's really fun, super simple, and I only use plaid. Um, 
products because they're very affordable. And um, I bet you guys have a lot of the stuff that I use. Okay, guys, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I will sign this on the back and I will maybe hang it on my wall because I really like how it turned out. Okay, guys, I'll see you later. Have a great day. I'll have a video video for you on Thursday and patrons your video will be up tomorrow have a great day bye bye